Is this thing on? Today we're going to talk about recording audio from your intercom and headsets directly into your GoPro and how to set it all up. On all of our flights we use the in-flight cam audio and power cables for the GoPro Hero 3, 4, and 5. These cables allow you to capture audio from your headset, intercom, and radio. They also provide power for your GoPro without worrying about the internal battery going dead during a long flight. For the GoPro Hero 3 and 4, they also have an extra long 16-foot cable for cameras that are positioned more than 6 feet from the pilot's headset. We're going to use the 16-foot cable in this video. The waterproof case that comes with the GoPro blocks the jack where you need to plug in the in-flight cam cable. Instead, we use the GoPro frame mount, which works with the Hero 3 and 4. It has an opening in the frame to allow access to all the GoPro camera inputs. This is the pilot's end of the cable. It has a male headphone jack, a female headphone jack, and a Mini B female USB plug for powering the GoPro. Start off by plugging the quarter inch male stereo plug of the in flight cam audio adapter cord into the aircraft one quarter female plug in the panel. Plug one headset large quarter inch male stereo plug into the female headphone jack of the in flight cam adapter cord. This cord is a female Mini B USB cable, which provides power to the GoPro camera by means of a USB 2.0 Type A to Type Mini B cable. Plug the other end of the Type A to Mini B cable into a USB power source. Now plug the male Mini B end of the USB cable into the side of the GoPro. All that's left now is for you to go out and shoot some great video. Now let's talk about possible headset issues. On this particular flight, my co-pilot and I decided to wear our own personal headsets, which were different brands, to record the audio during the trip. Everything seemed fine during the flight, with no audio distortion detected in either headset. Then when we downloaded the video files from the overhead GoPro camera, there was a definite distortion in the audio of the clip. Just listen. I asked him one day, I said, boy, hey boy, I said, you know, if, if we lose power right now, where are we going to end up? Because probably in them damn trees. And I said, that's right. And I, I, when, so when I was doing it, I said, okay, if we lose power now, where are we going to end up? He goes, we'll probably make, uh, we'll probably make the runway. And I said, yep, that's the big difference. It's a safety issue, buddy. So on my next flight, I asked my co-pilot to use my matching light speed headsets. Listen now. Still don't see the guy at left base. There he is. Yep, okay. Alright, he'll be down on the ground before we get there. Okay, so there you traffic code 4657 is turning left final 435 Gainesville touch and go. It may have been just a fluke or maybe we didn't set up something correctly. But we decided from that point on to use identical brand a &R headsets to record the audio in our flights with fresh batteries, just to be sure. One other suggestion is to not raise the output level of the intercom too high. This can also cause distortion in the GoPro video sound. Nearly all audio issues you discover are due to improper volume settings on either the intercom or the headsets. We found that it's best to experiment ahead of time to determine the best settings for your flight recording. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Please check back for more videos from our YouTube channel. We have links in the comments area below to the products we've talked about. We also would like to invite you to subscribe to our channel as well as becoming a supporter on Patreon. Thanks for watching.